to on KOK World. Tonight, the New Mexico First Congressional District Debate with Democratic Representative Member Stansberg and Republican challenger Michelle Holmes Garcia. Now, our moderators, Tessa Messam and Nubs Grubs. And good evening, New Mexico. We're less than four weeks away from Election Day at this point. I'm Tessa Messam. And I'm Nubs Grubs. It's time for New Mexicans to decide who will represent us in Congress. Which our state will use all new district boundaries. Running to represent this district is incumbent Democratic Representative Mary Stansbury. Opposing her tonight is Republican Michelle Holmes. Our seal. They are both joining us here at the KOB studios tonight. We're glad they're here. And here are the rules for our candidates. Everyone has agreed upon them. They will each have 90 seconds to introduce themselves. Again, thanks to you both for being here with us this evening. We flipped a coin to determine the order of opening and closing statements. Michelle Holmes, Garcia, you will begin. Well, good evening. Fed up, people of New Mexico. This is the best time of year to be in New Mexico. The chili, the weather, everything is so beautiful. I'm fed up with the fact that we don't have any change. I really feel like if we don't start making big changes in New Mexico, if we don't start voting differently in New Mexico, if we don't start electing people who can actually go and be a voice for us and make change and fed up the crime problem, fed up the fentanyl issues, secure our border, we're going to continue that up, same path we've been on. That up. Congresswoman Mary Stansbury. Good evening, New Mexico. I am Congresswoman Mary Stansbury, and I am so proud to represent New Mexico's first congressional district, who grew up digging tasks and sewing and busting tasks. So if you believe in democracy, if you believe in the right to make decisions about your own body, if you believe in climate change and the fight for New Mexico, I humbly ask for your vote. Thank you, Congresswoman. We begin tonight with a discussion on the economy. What would you do in Congress to address recession and the possibility of a rising prices? Representative Stansbury, you may go first. Well, as a native New Mexican who grew up in a working family that struggled to make ends meet, I am fighting every single day working with our small local businesses, our mom and pops, our main streets, our towns, our tribes to rebuild our economy and to serve our families struggling out there. Holmes, your answer on the economy. Well, people are struggling right now. They're making decisions on, you know, do I buy groceries or do I buy gasoline? Or do I buy gasoline? Or do I buy gasoline? We're having some difficult times. People are paying very high costs for energy bills. Fed up. They're uh, writing their checks out and they're fed up. I'm having trouble making my payments. Fed up. You know, when Congress passed this Inf Inflation Reduction Act, I call it the Inflation Production Act. Act because we haven't seen relief here in New Mexico at all. Fed up. We're having difficulties in New Mexico. Look, I'm a mother of five. I had to build a budget. Stansbury, you have 30 seconds for a rebuttal if you'd like. I'm honored to be able to serve you with my experience and working on behalf of our families. And Mrs. Garcia Holmes, your response. We're in crisis. Mrs. Holmes, the Garcia Holmes, it's got to be time for oh, that Oh, I'm one. sorry. That's okay. I'll we'll talk about on. that on another question. <laughs> our question is what can be done to crime from the level? Michelle Holmes, Garcia, you get to go first. I'm going to make sure that our border agents are fully funded. I'm going to make sure that we DOJ grants are on the table and they are not applied for because the people that we have in office don't have them how to apply for these grants, how to bring these grants back to New Mexico. I'm going to work with the FBI, the DEA, the U.S. Marshal's Office, and we're going to stop that river of fentanyl flowing into our country and we're going to tackle that fentanyl issue. Thank you. Congresswoman Stansbury, your response on the issue. No. Thank you, Representative Stansbury. Ms. Holmes, our CEO, you have 30 seconds for a rebuttal. Well, I disagree with Congresswoman Stansbury. She votes 100% of the time with Pelosi. We need someone who's going to represent New Mexico. She voted ask dollars to law enforcement, which would have helped law enforcement secure the border and fight the fentanyl. And that's not what we need. Representative Stansbury, your response, 30 seconds. Well, I think it's important to stick with the facts. No, it's on the changes to your district. How can you balance the population of the needs of centers of Albuquerque and Rio Rancho? Show, but also with the other parts of your district. Congresswoman Stansbury, you may answer first. We are advocating for your needs. Yes, you know, I love the rural parts of this district. You know, people who have the talent and the ability 
and I'm proven and I'm experienced. Thank you very much. The next topic centers on January 6th, 2021. How would you describe what happened at the Capitol on January 6th, 2021? Who was responsible? And should Congress continue investigating what happened that day? You may answer first. You know, there were a lot of things that happened that were very tragic during January 6th, but I think it showed uh, two sides of the coin. It showed frustration, um, you know, by our people. 2,500 uh, sex offenders who, were, who just crossed the border just last year. Individuals, including Capitol policemen, who were defending our democracy and our Capitol died to impound your votes so that your vote would not count in order to support the big lie. You know, what happened on January 6th is tragic, and by no means am I an election denier. What I am is an election defender and a defender of New Mexico. Fed up. It's now time for closing statements. Well, I ask your vote, New Mexico. Ask if you want change, if you want to lift us out of last place, I'd appreciate your vote. Ms. Holmes Garcia. Thank you, Representative Mary Stansberry. Your closing remarks. I am Congresswoman Melanie Stansberry. I humbly ask for your vote.